this section and the next one we'll talk about the sequences we've been talking about okay so in you know, the previous section we talked about the series and things along those lines now here we'll identify the series special type two special types of series okay that is if you see this what is the difference okay and you find out the difference is three every year okay and it just goes going on okay so we know that the a1 the first value in the term is just one the second value is basically one plus three which is the difference okay the third value is basically one plus three plus three correct and if you go on to the fourth one a4 is equal to one plus three plus three plus three and then you can keep going on forever now can we generate a formula for this well yes we can for a one value what we did is basically a one okay plus o times d which is basically difference now for the second term what we did is equal to a one plus one d okay the third term a1 plus 2 times the difference okay 0 times the difference which is 3 now 1 times the difference which is 1 okay 1 plus 1 gives you the a2 which is that okay the difference is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 so it gives you the fourth term 4 and as you move on to fourth term right here be a1 plus 3d okay so for the nth term, the nth number that we don't know, we can formulate that equation by this. The nth term okay, is equal to 1 less than this. If it's 3, then it's 2 here. So it's equal to a1 is always here, n minus 1 times the difference. Right? So if you have 4 here, we use 3. If you have 3 here, we use 2. If you have 2 here, we use 1. If you have 1 here, we use 0 and so on easy to understand okay so let's go ahead and find out what actually the a, a this formula that we generated due to this pattern can mean okay so let's go ahead and do that okay now we have generated a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times the difference a n is equal to a1 which we know is 1 plus n minus 1 times the difference which we know is 3 right from the earlier sequence so we can conclude that a n is equal to 1 plus if we can use the distributive property 3n minus 3 or we can use a n add this up 3n minus 2 right so we can do this by ourselves so this is like a formula that if you need to plug in what the question says what is the 11th term you just plug in 11 for n and you get find the sequence the 11th number in the sequence is it's really fairly easy enough but as you move on it gets tougher and tough keeps penetrating keeps penetrating your brain okay find a formula for the n term of the arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 2 the first term is 5 so we know the equation that we came up with is a n and it's universal for arithmetic arithmetic sequence so a of n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times the difference right so we need to find the a n term of the fifth the a1 is fifth n is n minus 1 okay and the difference which is given is 2 so we can use this as a n is equal to 5 plus 2 n minus 2 Add 5 to it, a n is equal to 5, whoops, 2 n minus 3, 
2n plus 3, oops. There is the formula you just generated. Because the question asked, what is the generator formula? So we generated the formula for the series. Okay? So it's fairly easy once you know the first term and the difference. Okay? Now what if you're not given the first term? Look at this situation over here. Which says the common difference is 6, the second term is 11, find the 11th term. Okay? Find the first term. So that would be an is equal to a1 plus n minus 1, which is the difference. Well, an is equal to phi, which we found out, plus n minus 1 times the difference of 6. Okay? And it's an is equal to phi plus 6n minus 6. This is a n is equal to 6 n minus 1. So you have formulated formula again. Now, as you move on, there is a sigma, okay? Capital sigma, which looks like this. Okay? It's involving in this series because it's related to it. Now, let's go and you see the use of this arithmetic series right here. Now here's a problem involving a sum of items and what needed to make a sequence out of it. So if a question that comes up to you that says like this, i is equal to 1 until 50 and then it has the equation that says 3i plus 4. Now don't get shocked by just looking at the equation. Well, that's it. That's the whole series. Well, basically what it says is start from 1, replace the i with 1 from starting to n till 50, right? So we have to use 3 times 1 plus 4, then 3 times 2 plus 4, and add them all together until 50. Okay, so what we need to do in order to simplify things up, we can't just go on forever adding them. The simplified method is the average size of a times the nth value, which is this term, okay? This is the nth value. Fairly e easy enough to remember this formula. Now let's go ahead and use it actually. What the formula basically said was that's what the formula and what I did was simplify this. The first item plus the last one over 2 times the nth value is what the, the formula said. Now formula can given us by mathematician can be confusing at times so what I always say is I try to make things easier for you guys so that's the reason why I simplified the formula over here okay so using that formula it would be the first item which is 3 times 1 which is 3 plus 4 which would give us 7 so 7 plus 3 times 3 times 50 plus 4 would give us 1 uh, 3 times 50 is 150 plus 4 gives us 154 okay Oof. times the n term which is 50 okay now this would basically give us 7 plus 154 divided by 2 which gives us Times 50 would give us 4025, I think. Yep, that this would give us 4025. So the total sequence is the total, the sigma, which is the total of this sequence, would be 4025. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe. If you, I insist you guys to, the there's a URL in the description. Give it a, a the Facebook page. I want you guys to go ahead and click the like button. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching. Peace, guys.